<laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Bug and Rug, and welcome to episode 4 of our Let's Play. <laughs> this is me, <Minka>. guys. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> in the last episode we built this strange structure, and it's, it's not, it's not what I had envisioned, but I also didn't envision anything. So, ah, we're gonna, we're gonna try and give it some, some personality so that we can have a finished home and actually get started with the mod pack itself. Uh, we really haven't done anything with magic except the, um, two portals that we managed to find at the two gatekeepers, which is really nice, um, that we actually have them both now, so... All right, so let's go grab some shears and um, take some of these lovely leaves. Can I? Can I shear those? Probably not. Um, okay. So let's go grab some leaves. Check, 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 check. Uh, you know what would be really pretty is to use those sticks and actually put a leaf on top as like a little just like a little pretty light um yeah that could look really nice and be an easy alternative to torches considering we have no coal <laughs> oh. uh, i wanted some green ones but i don't see any of them around here okay also update the llamas are friendly now finally um hello ah. hi ah sweetness. Glad you come around. Didn't think you were going to for a second there. Okay, can I share these? Absolutely not. Okay. Can you? Also, I, re I really need to go make a waypoint of our base because I keep losing it in the middle of this forest. And there is absolutely no way to, like, tell on the map, as you can see. Where's our house? Couldn't tell ya. Okay. I'm already lost. <laughs> is that the llama? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. So... Let's grab some sticks. Just light this area up a little bit <laughs> with our blocks. <laughs> oh, cute. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, and then have some shrubbery around. And so here's what. Here's what I think we're gonna do. I'm going to just basically shape this house up, get um, the roof finished, figure out flooring. I'm not sure I'm happy with the flooring yet. Um, and then I'll just speed through that for you guys. So I will see you back when we finish.
Alrighty, and we are back with our finished starter home. Um, I love it. I think it turned out really great. Uh, unfortunately, my game did crash a couple times, so I am missing some of the footage. Um, when you guys see this, if you're wondering, like, uh, I know the flowers, uh, some of that got cut off. But, uh, without further ado, uh, I'm excited to give you guys the little house tour. So we'll start the exterior first, and on the outside we have our base arch that started the whole process. And uh, we have like a recessed inner arch with a stained glass um, surrounding our entryway. Oh, surrounding our entryway, and then we've got a little porch with the uh, rainbow logs. So this is the rainbow strip log, and this is the rainbow plank. Um, love them both. They're they're so pretty. And then if we go around, we've got this little like trellis that creeps up the roof that I really love. This is actually um, on both sides. And on this side, it creeps all the way up our tower. I love the little tower. I just thought it added some really nice dimension and I love adding that ruined marble wherever I can. I think it's super pretty and really adds to the, uh, the magical feel. And I just really wanted this build to be very like colorful and fitting in with the enchanted forest biome and I think this does the trick. So if you go around, we've got lots of different crops. So this is Belladonna, uh, Demon Stream, Snowbell, and Wolfsbane. Just got a lot of different crops going on back here. I just planted them to have them for the aesthetic. But if we need a couple um, later on in the in the pack, we'll do that. We'll use that. So yeah, I I really like how it turned out. Um, I liked that I ended up going with the marble exterior and the wooden roofing, so that we can also have wood on the bottom without feeling like we're surrounded completely with wood. So if we go in, we've got that rainbow planking through the entryway, and here's our little kitchen. These are stoves from Farmer's Delight. And then we've got a crafting table. Uh, I don't these. I don't quite know the function of these yet, so I'm thinking we will add like a little furnace right there, and just a little non-functional fridge. The cabinets and shelves are all functional storage items, which is really cool. We've got a little table. We might set some stuff up here later when I figure out what I want to do with this little area right here. But just a little cute entryway table. A little. Ca oh, I can sit on the couch. <laughs> wait wait I think I'm still invisible let me look okay <laughs> oh just a headless bug in her very loud cat slippers love that okay and then we have our little bedroom cozy little bedroom with a, a queen size yellow bed and yellow stained glass window looking out so pretty and then there's our little trellis that goes up and actually adds some light both on the inside and the outside of the house and then we've got some paintings and some little flower pots for our end tables which are also um, storage containers and then for our basement we're gonna install the basement right there add a little trap door and that basement's gonna go down to our main like chest supply room and then eventually maybe some of the like darker mysterious magic mods can go on the in, in our like little underground shelter area but yeah i think it turned out really great um i'm happy with it i think it's very cozy and perfect for the start of our let's play speaking of our let's play um i'm ready to get into it so uh, i we've got a huge selection of mods to choose from and to start with, we have um, already taken all of the experience for these. Uh, essentially, these are just a bunch of levels for helping you better understand the pack. So like this one is telling us, this is the mod pack. These are the developers. Thank you, Mirthor and Zephyr Wind Spirit. And playtesters. Um, and just some additional information about the mod pack itself. So, we have this mod here that's not really 
in its own. It's it's a it's not really in a subcategory. And then our categories are magical nature, spellcraft and sorcery, mythical artifact and exploration, and magicium arcanum in game. Okay, well, we are nowhere near that. So we'll either start with spellcraft and sorcery, magical nature, or mythical artifacts and exploration. So I kind of want to start with blue skies because we actually already have the portal materials for both of the portals. Now the one thing is we need this lighter and to have the lighter, uh, we purchased that. I don't know. I don't think I've mined anything like that, but yeah. So we need the zeal lighter and the book to really like uh, activate it. We've got two emeralds. We need six more. So I'm thinking we go exploring in some of the generated like dungeon areas and try and find some emeralds that way. Um, generally, these mod packs contain a lot of the pre-generated structures, which are pretty heavy, like on the loot, which is really nice. So I think we'll start with that. Um, I'm going to let's see uh, there's actually in the plains biome there is a i know like a a taller like dungeon structure over there so i think we'll start with that and we'll just see what kind of trouble we can get into um so what we'll do is we'll just take our bed with us or yeah because i want my spawn place to be set over there because i'm sure i'm gonna die we'll take some wood and grab some food um, definitely cooked. Okay, we've got three steak. We're gonna need more than that. Let's make a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe. And do we really not have any food? I could have sworn we had at least a little bit more than this. It's not gonna be good for us. Uh,. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make those two tools. Also, um, I have adjusted my POV. Uh, I have always played on Quake Pro <laughs> since I can remember, but anyone else who has ever seen me play on Quake Pro, I'll show you the difference real quick. So this is what I had been playing on. Um, I play on this because I just feel like I'm going faster. I know it's just an illusion. Um, I don't know why I've always done it, but when it comes to viewing a video, I know it can seem a little too fast and a little too harsh. So we're gonna play on 90 for now and see see if that's a little bit better. All right, I still don't have a chest room, so I'm just gonna keep on stacking our chests up over here. We will organize it at one point at some point just not right now okay so yeah we'll keep a shovel and let's make an axe too if we have enough iron I honestly don't know if we do take some shears and a bucket of water also sounds like a great idea if we have enough okay there's our backpack you have nothing, you're empty, it's perfect. Okay, yeah, we have plenty, actually. I forgot I went um, mining for iron and coal off camera, so we're good. All right, so the only thing I can really think of that we really need is... Uh, first of all, we'll bring some wood. Always bring wood. Second of all, uh, maybe torches. Mm-hmm. And then how about coal in our furnace in case we need to make food because this, this three steak is not gonna last. So let's just go ahead and head that direction and I will meet you guys back at the tower. All right, so here we are right at sunset. And I think what we're gonna do is go kill some pigs. I don't wanna kill all of them. I wanna leave at least one breeding pair or whenever we have our own little farm set up. But I do want to get at least a little bit of food for us. 
Is that a dragon? What are you? Ooh, no, 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 Where's that at? Where is it at? Okay, he's back there. Okay. I am so sorry. What's this? Nipa. Forbidden Arcanus. Okay, I'm sure we'll need that later, so I'll just leave it there for now. Anyways, back to our regular scheduled programming before that giant green lizard interrupted it. Okay. Boy, this is... we're gonna be rough on food, but let's just go for it. Alright. There's... Excuse me. Oh, you're scared of me. <laughs> Come here. That's nice. My scarf of invisibility may be useless, but my kitten boots sure are not. Um, okay, so let's go up first. I think we can mine down after. Nothing? Okay. Um, I hear skeletons below us, so I'm sure there's at least we don't have a helmet. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh. Skilled skeleton. Yeah. We gotta go. Oh, they keep fighting. They keep sh stop. <laughs> they shoot fireballs. That is so unfair. <laughs> I don't get to shoot fireballs yet. Maybe I will. Um, all right. We're gonna sleep right here. And I'm also gonna make a waypoint right where we are. Engine bed. Okay. Let's try this way first. Seems like a good idea. We're almost out of food already. There's a bed right here. I'll take it. Nice. Okay. Um. Let me. Don't do it. I'll take the watermelon. I'll take the apples and the pork chops. Yeah. Need some food. Um, I don't want any of that. Soul bound efficiency two. Outlaw. Sure. Why not? Take the arrows, take the torches, take the potion of regeneration. Ah! I was hoping you would not be smart enough to make your way over here yet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cook our pork chops that we got earlier. More roots. Just... Okay, let's go ahead and take these chain boots because we're, we have nothing left on ours. They might as well be dead. Mm. Oh, we have a potato too. Um, sort our inventory and then let's get this potion of regeneration out. Food in our hot water. Ah, hello. Are you just a regular skeleton? Because that could be pretty useful to me. If you're that piece of base. Um, we'll take some feathers. And a lead. Ah, perfect. Okay, yeah. Already getting some emeralds. That is exactly what I wanted. Mystical world. Ah. 
All right, so let's save this in the future. Should we ever? I don't feel like this is the kind of mod pack we're gonna need to make like a a regular regular XP spawner, but we'll save it just in case. Get our pork chops and keep going this way. This is the way we started. Oh, it's multiple floors. Well, let's start on this one. I don't know what outlaw means, but I don't have much interest in a wooden sword or wooden uh, axe. I'm gonna put torches along the way. Okay, so we've made a circle. Ooh, enchanting table. Great, perfect, perfect, per perfect. Dismay a dozen. 10 instants per player loot. Cool. Uh, I do have interest in these bookshelves. So we're gonna take those. Um, yes, please, thank you. And the lecterns. I like those for, uh, for decorating with. Look at all the note blocks. Ooh. Also, if you guys have, um, the quark inventory sort tweaks turned on and you just want to take stuff that you already have in your inventory you can just press shift and extract and it'll only extract the stuff that you already have in your inventory which is really handy if you're um looting a bunch of the same type chests and the same type stuff and you don't want to sort through them every single time so we already have plenty of iron i'm not going to worry too much about harvesting all that Stairs. Perfect. We'll take the stairs. Uh let's go this way. Hello. Alright. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Where's my where's my body? This way. Wowza, that was rough. I I didn't even I didn't even make it into the uh, the entrance before he absolutely smacked. Okay, I'm gonna stay far away from you, but I want that pickaxe if that's what you hit me with. Oh, way too. What's his name? Cow hell the lame. What in the world did you just hit me with? A completely just one shot me? I would like to have that. I'm almost dead, so I'm hoping you'll drop it for me. Just don't hit me. Okay, what you got? Slay an apotheotic boss and retrieve their affix item or affix. Find a common affix. That's common? Oh, he didn't drop his pickaxe. Well. Projectile protection six at least. Darn, I wanted that thing he hit me with. <laughs> but he, he doesn't look like he dropped it. Okay, mana in a bottle. Pumpkin pie. Good food, good food. Um, condensed blood, enchanted. Oh, that's a nice enchanted. Uh, plus one piercing. Cool. Don't know anything about that, but I will take it. Looks good to me, and of course I will take the gunpowder. Goodness, our inventory is filling up so quick already. Okay, let's... Do some sword in here. Don't want any seeds. Don't care about any of those. Uh, we'll keep the source berries. And then... Got a plan going here. Nothing in there. No, oh, no, 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 no way. Get rid of that. I hate spiders. No, 
Yeah. Mm -mm. At least they're just regular spiders. Just don't even, don't even think about it. White shield. Yes, I should probably have a white shield equipped. Oh, not that. I forget how you use a shield. To... Okay, just right click. Just right click. Phantom membrane. We're repairing elytras if we ever get that far. I hope you will. Can rabbit hides be used for anything? They can be made into leather, I guess. Nah, I don't care. And I'm sure you guys cannot see right now, so let me... Actually, give me a second and let me see if I can't make my shaders a little bit brighter, just so it's better on your end. So I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So I don't see any like easily recognizable brightness adjustments, but I will look into it and if BSL does not have like something to make it just a little bit brighter, uh, I'll see what I can do. But I know a lot of other YouTubers use this shader without any issues, so I'm not really sure. Layer two. Oh, goodness, I am already so out of space. Need the potatoes though. Stone pickaxe. I don't want that. But I'll take the bones. And that. Mage Bloom. Oh, our snow boat. Oh, he just moved really fast. Did you guys see that? <laughs> oh, he's a speedy boy. Let's let's knock him out now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're hasty, all right. No, no way. What was that? That was the biggest explosion I've ever heard of. Oh my goodness, we're just, we're grabbing and going at this point. This is spooky. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to be scared of me. Ooh, this is too dark, too dark. I can't see anything. Okay, I'm back up to the main, main area we just came from. Bro, grubby, grubby hell, son of Herobrine? Ah. Uh, I probably should have seen that coming. You do have 132 hearts. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to kill him. But I don't foresee us being able to kill him without cheesing it. Um, aka... Is that going to TNT? No. Uh, I don't see us being able to kill him without um, using the two block versus his three block height to defeat him. Unstable mixture. Yeah, sure. Your pillagers, too. But my body is. This way. Okay. So. Where's he? Which one? Which one's Broby? <laughs> Not you. Why are you attacking me? I didn't even know I looked at you. I'm sorry. I don't have a looting on my sword, but that sure did drop a lot. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. And this. Equip that. No sticks. Don't need a shield. Uh. Put that back. 
rocking and rolling again. Um, is it you? Which one are you? No. Yeah, it's you. Mm-hmm. Alright. This is how we're gonna do it. Barbie. Old Barbie pal. You cannot hurt me. Right? <laughs> I'm about to get destroyed for saying that. Uh, okay, let's make this a little bit what No, Broby, come back! Okay, Broby. That's how we're gonna do this. You have 131. 100? And he's not even dying. Okay, well, I guess... I guess I'm gonna speed this up and come back to you guys when I'm finished. No way. Oh. Guys? What? <laughs> no way. That's incredible. Unbreaking four. Magic Protection 5, Mana Boost 3, Netherite Leggings, and Broby Hall's Reinforced Ironclad frame, Flame Forge Boots of Tenacity. Wow. Thank you, Broby Hall. That's incredible. Well, we have plenty of emeralds. Um, I think I'm going to call that a wrap. Let's, <laughs> let's get back out of here and... Go back to our house and yeah so i think we'll i'm gonna run back to the house and thank you and then um make a little chest room and we will start the next episode getting ready to build our portals for the uh, blue skies mod so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next episode bye